It has been standard operating procedure for a very long time in the NFL that after a touchdown is scored, the ball will be placed at the two-yard line, and the offense has the choice whether to kick an extra point, which is worth one point, or to line up as if they were on offense and try to move the ball into the end zone again, which would be worth two points. Kickers have gotten so good at kicking extra points, though, that in 2014, just eight out of 1,251 were missed. Things will change in 2015, though. So let's look at what the difference will be, and we'll try to figure out what this will really mean for teams. So after a touchdown, teams will now have the same two choices, either attempt the extra point or go for two. The difference is that if they want to attempt the extra point, the ball will be placed at the 15-yard line instead of the two. If they decide to go for two, they can tell the ref that, and the ball will be placed still at the two-yard line. Moving the ball back to the 15-yard line, that's where they'll snap it from, will result in about a 33-yard kick, and you generally add about 17 or 18 yards to figure out how long a field goal is, uh, 10 yards for the end zone and then 7 or 8 for the snap back to the holder. The other change in this rule is that the defensive team can block the extra point, or if the team's going for two, they can get the ball on a turnover, and they are allowed to run it back to the other end zone. And doing this would be worth two points for the defense. Traditionally, if the extra point was blocked, neither team would have gotten any points. So will this rule change really change much at all? Well, kickers are still pretty good from 33 yards. They hit 32 of 33 attempted kicks from 33 yards in 2014. That's 97% rather than 99%, so don't expect too much of a drop-off. Then again, with so many extra points being kicked, just a 2% drop-off would mean an extra 30 missed extra points over a whole season. It's probably not too much to worry about, though, because that's only about one point per team for the whole season. So will this mean that teams should take advantage of keeping the ball on the two-yard line and go for two now? Well, teams over the past five years have rarely gone for two, only about twice per year uh, for each team on average. This is somewhat surprising considering the success rate is right around 50%. Technically, it's 48%. But this means that in the long run, you would score just as many points converting two-point conversions half the time as you would kicking an extra point every time. Obviously, we can't see into the future, but if that rate of 48% holds true, it means that whether you go for two or kick the extra point, you'll likely end up scoring about the same number of points in the long run. And if that is the case, then teams will probably just keep kicking the extra point. What could happen, though, is that teams will start to go for two more often. This could result in a shift of how often two-point attempts are successful. If that success rate goes up, maybe offenses will practice it more or teams will attempt them more against weaker goal line defenses. It would mean that a team would be better off going for two after every touchdown. However, the opposite could also happen. If the two-point conversions are being converted too far under that 50% mark, it would probably be best just to take the extra point. I don't expect to see much change in 2015 as far as the number of points that are scored because whether your team is lining up for two or just kicking the extra point, even if it is from 33 yards, it probably won't make too much difference at all in the long run.